So the guy says, I have only $300 left. Never enough. I get $1,000 every week. And I'm left with $300 after all other payments are made. And we have to operate with this $300. The other guy says, it's $45,000 naira 45, I'm left with. And, um, and, and it's never enough. Even our rentals will be 60, 60,000, you know? It depends on what your understanding of money is. And hear me. The reason what I'm sharing with you now is so important is this. All your life, no one might have taught you about money at home. Your parents may have never taught you about money. So what you may have learned about money would be what most people know about money. But most people are poor by the records. Therefore, what most people know about money helped them to be poor. So to be different, you must know what the few people who are not poor and do far better and are prosperous know about money. So there's got to be a difference in your attitude to it, your understanding of money. Okay. First things first. Money is only a seed. And in reality, it does not exist. Ah, uh, now, 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 now. Imagine you writing this in your notes and somebody has written this, you'll think you're crazy. So please be careful. It exists in the mind of the poor. You see, this value of $300 exists in the mind of the poor. Why is he poor? Because he was raised poor. He was raised to think that way. He was raised to function in poverty. So, he has a value for this $300. And so, he calculates all that he can do. And $300, not enough. And since it's not enough, he wonders, what can I do? What would I do with my life? Never enough. Because in his head, this three zero zero keeps spinning. He's got three hundred dollars. This is his understanding. This is his limitation. And because this is his limitation, he cannot go beyond $300 in what he does. His only option will be one of two things. If he's going to do more than $300 could ever do, one, he's going to have to beg, or he's going to have to borrow. And for both, he presents himself as a guy who is really in need because he's really in need. You see it? That's the life of most people. And that's why it's easier to keep back this $300 and whine and grumble than to let it go. And the guy who lets it go with poverty mentality says, I've given everything. Because all I had was $300. And once he's given the $300, he's given everything. 
And what is he expecting? God's God to do something. That's the way many people are. Now, while I'm talking like this, I want you to keep reminding yourself that most people in the world are poor. Keep reminding yourself. So, when, we, you know, when I make some statements, quickly remind yourself that the records are clear. In all nations, the majority of the people live below average. Okay? Then remind yourself of another thing I'm going to say. That all those, all those called middle class and average are all poor. Mark it. So while I'm talking, if I make some statements that startle you, quickly remind yourself that majority of the world are poor, including those called middle class. So that you would remember that there must be some uncommon thinking that produce the uncommon winners. Okay? So if I say some things that are uncommon, quickly remind yourself that the common ones have produced poverty anyway. So what do you do with the common thinking. Are you listening? Tell you a little story. Years ago, I was still just 